Madame Dolat Nourizi, uh, you yes. are the UK representative of the Iranian resistance. Um, yes. So, uh, could you please explain us what are the main challenges uh, in women's rights in Iran now? If I may explain, in addition to all general uh, barriers and that women are facing all over the world, in Iran the situation is much worse because what we are facing is a very brutal religious dictatorship that is ruling Iran and justifying repression, terror, particularly discrimination against women under the excuse and in the banner of Islamic religion. So it is obvious that the Sharia law or other measures that are taken by the mullahs and by the religious dictatorship against women has nothing to do neither with religion nor with God and is not definitely in line with international norms and particularly conventions. So what we are demanding is that human rights is exactly women's rights and the situation of women in Iran needs to be supported in challenging Islamic fundamentalism, extremism, that the root mm -hmm. of it is in Iran, and particularly our women mm -hmm. have been prime victim of this very terrible phenomenon of Islamic fundamentalism and misuse of religion to justify repression and dictatorship. Yeah, and you also mentioned that there is an important presence of Iranian women in the resistance movement as well. Can you please explain about it? Yes, absolutely. The opposition movement led by Mrs. Maryam Rajavi mm -hmm. uh, is the main, main antithesis mm -hmm. to Islamic fundamentalism. Uh, it is actually a tolerant, democratic, uh, and uh, very progressive mm -hmm. view of Islam that values human rights, women's rights, especially separation of religion from the state and the government. Mm -hmm. And it also wants to establish equal rights of women in all fields. This is exactly the essence, in our view, of all religion, particularly Islam. And her movement has been very much striving not only to establish human rights, but also democracy in Iran. So it has gained a lot of support all over Iran as well as outside Iran in order to change this religious theocratic regime and bring about democracy in our homeland, Iran. So there is already huge number of women supporting it as well as men, because mm -hmm. our main struggle is really to promote democracy, social economic justice for Iran, stability and peace in the Middle East region, particularly stop misusing Islam. So this actually movement emerged as an antithesis against Islamic fundamentalism that we now see in ISIS, but the roots of it is actually this fundamentalist government ruling Iran, which is the first Islamic state uh, in power uh, with having a lot of money and political leadership in a very strategic country in the Middle East. So we need to stop it. Mm -hmm. And also you call international community to react to the situation in Iran. So what could European institutions, for example, the Council of Europe or Parliamentary Assembly can do and how to react, how can they react to promote human rights, and especially uh, women's rights in Iran? Thank you so much for this question, because I think uh, it is obvious you cannot fight Islamic fundamentalism and extremism with an anti-Islamic culture. You need to have actually democratic, tolerant, progressive Muslims to be able to confront and say the reality that what is really the essence of the struggle for freedom and democracy and what we see in the name of extremism fanaticism of Islam has nothing to do with religion. So in this respect, I think Europe must first of all recognize the Iranian opposition movement led by Mrs. Maryam Rajavi as an antithesis. They need to support it. They need to give as much room to its voice to be heard. And also I think uh, for them, it is to both politically, as well as in our view, economically, to impose sanctions on this brutal regime that some 61 resolutions had already passed 
by United Nations various bodies condemning violations of human rights in Iran. It is time for the world community to impose further sanctions and also to refer, to refer Iran dossier of violations and atrocities to the UN Security Council to impose uh, various measures. One of them would really be uh, for the officials of the Iranian regime responsible for the massacre, responsible for committing crime to face justice. So we think the international community, particularly Europe, can play a very important, effective role in pressuring the Iranian regime, facing the world community's norm, and also imposing sanction and political isolation. It would help our people to actually gain momentum against this regime for a change, for democracy and for human rights. Thank you for joining us, Madame Louise.